people? Well, we felt we had a strong team last year, but really had nowhere to go. And so we've been looking forward to this opportunity now in Division Two. Uh, we're in a tough region, and that determines advancement to the national meet. But uh, we feel we've got a good, strong group based on what we've done uh, last year in cross and the returning people from track. Uh, we're just excited to see where we can finish in the region meet, and, and if all goes well, maybe be at the national meet. But Matt's put a lot of training in, a lot of miles, and uh, looking forward to this this year. So we are excited about what he can do and, and have high expectations. Uh, Josiah Bragg finished with a great track season, and based on what he did on the track, uh, should be very competitive. Uh, Clay Watson, Ryan Gustafson, Neil Klinger, Joe Nemec, I mean, I've, I've got a list of people. We, we look at about 10 deep right now. Uh, Jacob Duby, Jacob Walter, guys that have really put in the mileage this summer and right now are looking strong in the practice. Well, the, the competition certainly is a lot tougher, but that's not to say the competition wasn't tough before. Our schedule really doesn't change much other than the region meet and the national meet. We're still competing against a lot of Division I teams. And uh, the first few meets we're in, we'll have Division I schools. Uh, so we've always run a competitive schedule just by nature of the invitationals that we're a part of. So that part won't change, but certainly to get to nationals will be a lot tougher than what it's been with the NAI. We're real excited about the move to D2. I mean, we've been waiting for a few years now to make the step up, and I think the team's ready. We've got a bunch of guys that put in more mileage than they've ever put in this summer. Um, guys getting over 100 miles a week during the summer and uh, just hungry to have some success and really go after it here in D2. And I think there's uh, some great races, some great platforms for us to do that, and we'd really love to be one of the first Cedarville teams to make it to a D2 national event, so that's going to be the goal. I think we're ready for the transition. I mean, we run races like the All-Ohio where we're facing D1 and D2 competition every year. Um, we just got to make sure we're ready to go up against the very best that D2 has to offer, and uh, we're getting there. We're working hard. We're putting in some really good r workouts, and I think, I think we'll be ready for it. The home course is great, I mean, especially for just getting out here and training on the weekdays. But then, then we get to go out there and race. Uh, the All-Ohio meet is especially the one that we'll be looking forward to here on our home course here at Cedarville. Uh, it's just, it's a big course. You can fit a lot of teams here. We've had a lot of great competition here, and uh, so we're excited about being here at home, and we're excited about having a place where friends and family can come out and watch us, too.